this morning. Why me? Lord, I cuss. I'm ill-tempered. I will go off at work. Low tolerance for none. So many other people you can use. So many other people you can use. Then God reminded me. That little boy that used to get abused by his mom, slapped down for seemingly no apparent reason. The victim of, dare I say, incest. Church, church, I've been there. I've been there. I've been, part of my expression, I've been screwed over by pastors. I'm a bear, this is the man I'm protecting, and you, you, you stabbed me, you betrayed me. Lord, I'm done with church. I'm done with church, I'm done with church people. I'm done. Why me? Why not you? What about the little boy right now that's getting abused? What about the little girl right now who's being molested by her father, her cousin, her brother? Jesus. What about the other people right now that are suffering pain at the hands of the church? Yeah. Why not you? Jesus. Who are you? How dare you? I brought you through that and you can't pass it on? Jesus. How dare you? Why not you? Here I stand before you, an imperfect being. I don't pretend to be something I'm not. Depending on who you ask, you get a different answer. Mm -hmm. Some people think I'm quiet. I am. Mm -hmm. Some people think I'm bold and aggressive. I'm that. Mm -hmm. Some people think I'm a great father. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's Amen. about biological and non-biological. It doesn't Amen. matter. That's good, yes. bro. Yes. Come on. yes, sir. So you get a different answer. Mm -hmm. I'm all of those things. Yes. What a lot of people may or may not know, I am a man of God. Amen. That's right. In spite of my mess, right. I am a man of God. Yes. Yes. It would be remiss of me to deny my belief uh -huh. after all I've been through. Yes. yes. And I'm not saying I'm, I'm better than anybody. I'm not saying I'm special. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking about what I've been through. What I've been delivered from, where I come from, the guy that's standing here now, I can tell you this, a year ago, okay. six months ago, uh -huh. if, had you told me in six months, uh -huh. I'd be standing up here, okay. I'd have laughed in your face, uh -huh. in your face. My, my negotiating tactic would have kicked in. Yeah. yeah, okay, I'll go, but I'll be the drummer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll go, I'll play bass. Okay. Yeah. Percussion, okay. Uh -huh. Standing up here delivering the word, yeah, and you're out your mind. That ain't me. <laughs> that ain't me. Yeah. I don't wear the title. Mm -hmm. I don't wear the robe. That ain't me. Mm -hmm. Leave that to the bishops and the pastors and the elders mm -hmm. and the ministers. That ain't me. It's not in the dress. Why me, Lord? That ain't really? Mm -hmm. Lord, did you not see what I just told this woman at Quick Trip? Mm -hmm. That I held the door for and didn't say thank you. Did you? Come on now. No, I saw it. Real. I saw it. And I still want you. Yeah. I don't think you know who you are. Come on now. So you giving the word is not an option. I'm mandating that. Ah, whoa. That's right. Ah. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. So again, here I stand before you. It's an honor to be here. Yes. I thank everybody for coming. Friends, family. Everybody. Yes. And with that, we'll get on with the word. Um. As I mentioned before, I'm a, I'm a direct person. I'm uh, not really big on rambling. Uh, if I want you to go to the store, take my car, go to the store, and grab me a coat, that's how I'm going to say it. I'm not going to you how to get there. That's up to you. Just do it. And I want a coat. <laughs> um, so with that, again, I won't be before you long. Um, I'm speaking on a series. Activate your faith. Yes, sir. And the way this is fashioned is 
if you if you think of a, a marathon mm -hmm. where you have two runners mm -hmm. and there's a handing off of the baton, right? Mm -hmm. That's what this is. Okay. So I'll be handing off the proverbial baton to my sister, Elder, yeah. Pamela Staple. Yeah. And with no further ado, I'll get to the point. <laughs> um, activate your faith. Yes. Last night, a definition of faith was given. That's right. Two yes, definitions right. by two different speakers. That's right, right. Same definition. The word doesn't change. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, but what, I, what I'd like to do is back up. Follow the free form. Because before you can activate something, you really need to know what it is. That's what it right. is you're activating. If, right. if you buy a new car, uh -huh. getting in a car is more than putting your ignition, put the key in the ignition and then getting the gas. Oh, you need to know what you're going on. You need to know what you're trying to right. You need to know what to do. Right. You need to know to turn your lights on at dusk. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, if you, um, you get a new handheld device, Mm -hmm. You need to reconstruction that so that you know what you have. Mm -hmm. You know exactly what you're dealing with. You know what amazing you just paid five hundred dollars for. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so again, it's, it's important that you fully understand what they do. Mm -hmm. And I'll be reading from my notes that um that God gave me while I was in meditation and I'll try not to improvise mm -hmm. because that'll be me and not what was given to me when it was given to me. Yes, sir. So I'll stick to the script. Mm -hmm. um, the definition of faith mm -hmm. is a complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Yes, sir. A complete yes. trust. Complete. Yes. In someone or something. Yes, sir. Complete being the key word. Yes, yes. right. Yes, brother. It's a word that means absolute. That's right. It's non negotiable. That's Complete. Right. It's all inclusive. That's very true. It's to the greatest extent or degree. That's right. In layman's terms, total. Absolutely. A complete mm -hmm. trust or confidence right. in someone or something. Yes, sir. That's the severity of it. Faith is not something that our sensory organs can obtain. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't see it. That's right. I looked. You over there? <laughs> <laughs> can't hear Can you hear faith? No, no, no. no. I'm not talking about faith Evans. I'm talking about faith. <laughs> you can't hear faith. Right. You can't, you can't taste you can't faith. Know, right. no, no, you can't. It's odorless. That's right. Smell it. Right. Yeah. Faith has no texture. No, sir. No, you, can't, you can't feel faith. No, break it down, brother. <laughs> faith is a state of being. Mm -hmm. A complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Yes, sir. Despite what our intelligent minds tell us. Uh -huh. Despite mm -hmm. what man says. Despite how we try to break it down and figure it out. Mm -hmm. Faith is a state of being. Yeah. There is nothing you can do. You can't pick it up. You can't pick it up and absorb it. It ain't gonna happen. That's right. I'd like to apologize in advance for the toes that are gonna be stepped on, for the egos that are gonna be crushed. Lord God, my tongue. I'm not here. <coughs> to make anybody feel good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to tickle your ears. I'm not here to say what you want me to say. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to say what man says or respectively what, what the Bishop Jakes are saying and, and I'm not here to hoop and holler, that ain't that ain't me. Mm -hmm. I'm trash. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you wanna feel good by listening to something? I suggest Love and Happiness by Al Green. Mm -hmm. Timeless. I love it, matter of fact, well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> to quote um, one of my favorite poets, Sister Soul, if the truth drives you crazy, you'll be insane.
Y'all still with me? We're with you. I'm not stepping off. I'm not stomping yet. <laughs> All right, now that we know what faith is, yeah. let's talk about what faith is not. Okay. Faith is not knowing all the lyrics to a praise song. True. That's right. <laughs> knowing the lyrics to a Donnie McClurkin song Ooh. won't do you any good when you're hungry. That's very true. We fall down, we get up, but your stomach's growling. Mm. Right. Come on now. What you gonna do with that? Mm. What you gonna do with that? <clears throat> but having faith can feed you. Yeah. Well, absolutely. In fact, Dare I say, having faith will feed you. Yes. Faith is not knowing scriptures in the Bible. That's right. Tell George the power that Jesus wept when they send you a discount. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus won't be no more than what you'll be weeping in the dark. You'll be weeping in the dark. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Faith is not dressing up and coming to church and looking the part. Faith is not putting on your Brooks Brothers suit. It's not putting on your Sunday's best with the matching dress and the hat and all that. No, it's not. In fact, depending on what you believe, some people believe that when they die, that's the end of the world for them. Some people believe that it's going to be a massive thing. However, you and your Brooks Brothers suit, you can easily be one of the one of the best dressed people in hell. That's right. Still, That's right. God ain't playing. God is most certainly not playing. No, he's not. No, he's not, brother. Faith. Uh oh, faith is not coming to church. No, he's not. Coming to church and saying that you have faith makes you no more of a believer than me standing in the garage calling myself a car. <laughs> Faith is not coming to church, asking for prayer, saying that you need to be delivered, you roll on the floor, you cry, you snot, and, and, and pass out. That's not faith And after all of that, after all of that, after all of that, you go home, open your mailbox, IRS. Oh God, you gone just like that. Uh -huh. Just like that. Where was your faith when you were laying on that floor? Uh -huh. Where is that person? Yes. Where is your spirit? Yes. What happened that quick? What happened? Yes. Come on, you live 20 minutes away. Jesus. And, and you praising God. Yes. And when you get there, you, you fold up in the fetal position. Yes. Because the IRS said they looking for you. Yes. Jesus. Where's your faith? Yes. Come on now. Good. Faith is not articulation. No, it's not. Brother. Faith is not about how well you speak. No, it's not. Absolutely not. My personal experience, <clears throat> I've met well-spoken well atheists. Mm -hmm. Well-spoken atheists. Mm -hmm. They speak very well. Yeah, they don't no, believe in God. No, 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 no. They don't believe in God. That ain't faith. No, it's not. Brother. Faith is not praying. No, I'll say it again. I, don't, I, I really don't think y'all heard me. Faith is not praying. Praying is simply what it says. It's prayer. It's a conversation with God. So speaking in tongues, all that's fine. And I mean that respectfully. All that's fine. Um, calling God the great thou art and all that. He hears you. Whether or not you use that vernacular or whether or not you say Lord Jesus, Dad, yeah. he Amen. still hears you. Amen. He ain't impressed by that. So what? What do you want? Do I even know you? Do I know you? That's it right now. If you're praying for a particular outcome in a hurtful situation, but at the same time, simultaneously, you're trying to work it out, why are you even praying? Why you, if, if you're going to work it out, why are you even praying? Why? You're your own God. Your money is your God. Your job is your God. I'm preaching now, brother. Yes. That's what you believe in. You you praying 
to, to fulfill your own ego, mm -hmm. to say that I did it. it. It's a quote. Are you praying a mechanical prayer? Are you saying the same thing Jesus. every morning? Are you seriously grateful for the same thing every morning? Lord, thank you for my house, my car, my job, my dog, mm -hmm. you know, da 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 da. Help me. Are you only praying for you? Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. What about the man under the bridge? That's right. right. Is he not our brother? Mm -hmm. is, is he not our brother in Christ? If he's saved, he is. Yes, he if he's is. saved, he is. That's right, Pastor. That's right. That's it, brother. And that still ain't faith. Thank you, Lord. Why are you praying? If you're going to work it out, why are you praying? Why? Now, it's got so many billions of children on this earth. If you believe in you, why are you praying to God? What, what do you really want from God? You gonna give him the credit? Are you seriously gonna give him the credit after you gave him this generic prayer? Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, gotta go to work. You spend, you fear your boss more than you fear God. You fear losing your job more than you fear more than you believe in God's ability to, to provide for you. Oh, yes. yes. Jesus. Why are you praying? Which is A. A, why are you praying? B, that's not faith. C, do you really trust God? D, all of the above. Amen. <laughs> faith is not necessarily something you do. Hear what I'm saying? Not necessarily something you do. Faith is an action that requires little action. For if you believe, you know that God's got you. Now hear me, faith without works is dead. That's right. But you don't have to pick this whole thing up if you know that God will move it on your behalf. Come on. You don't have to struggle with this. Yes. You don't have to struggle. Why? Why are we so easily shaken. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Why are we as Christians so reluctant to surrender? Mm -hmm. My God. Why? Oh. And then we, we, we judge those that are not like us. Mm -hmm. You got Muslims who believe in Allah. Mm -hmm. They believe in Allah so strongly they're willing to die for exactly. it. Oh. They are willing to die for what they believe. Mm -hmm. You're in a bank and the bank gets robbed. Oh. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. The woman at um, the school my children used to go to last year, McNair, when the gunman walked in, she's not a tall woman. She's not a statuesque woman. Talk this man with an assault rifle in his hands. Talk him down. I love you. I'm praying for you. That's God. That is faith. This woman knew that this man is not going to shoot me. He ain't going to harm me, and he ain't going to harm nobody in this church. I'm sorry. You ain't going to do it. You ain't going to do it. And she didn't just sit there. Research the story. She didn't sit there. She approached the man. She approached the man. That is God. That's faith. That's what faith is. Word and action. That's right. Word and action. That's right, Pastor. That's right. I'm just saying it. And just so that you guys don't think I'm up here rambling or I'm caught up in myself, I'll give you the, the scripture that you so desire. <laughs> We're going to go to Matthew 17 and 20. If you have a Bible, turn with me, please. If not, I'll read it for you. If you have to say amen, please. Amen. Matthew 17 and 20. And he said to them, because of the littleness of your faith, for truly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, yes, yes. you shall say to this mountain, move from here to there, mm -hmm. and it shall move, and nothing shall be impossible for you. Mm -hmm. Matthew 21, 21. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Truly I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, yeah. you shall not only do what was done to the fig tree, but even yeah. if you say, oh, yeah. We're talking a mountain. We've all yeah. seen a mountain right here. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever stood on the foot of a mountain? Mm -hmm. 
Do you realize how, how minuscule we are compared to a mountain? We're commanding authority in the name of God, in the name of Jesus, over this mountain. Yes, sir. We can lift this mountain and cast it into the sea. Mm -hmm. Yet, we trip over this piece of paper right here. Mm -hmm. Come on, make it plain. This is nothing. Mm -hmm. got. We trip over finances. Mm -hmm. yes. But... If you're real, you'll give me a dollar seventy-five to catch Marlon. <laughs> really? Lord, if you're real, you will bring my abusive husband back to me. Lord, if you're real. Lord, if you're real. Where's your faith? Jesus. Where's your faith? I know the word does say, hold God to his word. We can, we can have, by faith, we can have anything on this big blue planet that we desire, anything. You have a Mercedes dealership, and all you want is a, you want the Mercedes mirror. You want the BMW Emblem because you don't feel like you're worthy of the car. I just want to be able to say, I got this. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to tie it around my neck and on my chain just so that people can think I'm important. Why are you selling yourself short? Yes. Do you not truly believe? Where is your faith? Yes, sir. Where's your faith? Yes. Is it mobile? Do you leave it at home? Do you only wear it around your Christian friends? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You bring it to church and, and boldly display it mm -hmm. and jump around and shout because it makes you feel good because you're, you're amongst yeah. like-minded people? Jesus, come on. Brother. What about in the world? That's, yeah. it. That's it right there. What about in the world? What about at your job? Mm -hmm. You've got so many unsaved people hey, and, and they're talking yes. about strip clubs or the, the latest hip hop song, mm -hmm. or that woman walking down the street, yeah. or yeah. hey man, I'm thinking about cheating on my wife. You know what? I am too. Mm -hmm. Dude, really? Mm -hmm. Now is the time to apply what you've learned. That's yes. Right. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. It's my opinion, and this is me, that you're held accountable for that yes. because you know better. Yes. 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 Even if you don't that physically stop word. him, something oh, needs yes. to be said to this man yes. Yes. No, no. or a woman. Or whomever. Those that know better do better. That's what faith is. We worry about man and his laws when God says, In me, you are victorious. Yes. Why is Charlie shaking you? Why you allow yourself to be bullied? Do you not know who you are? Come on. Have you forgotten who I am? Jesus. Yes. So what if you lose your job? I gave you that one. That's you don't right. think I'll give you another one? That's right. That's right. You are my child. Yes. 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 <laughs> we dream of having bigger and better things. We dream of a nicer car a nicer housing situation. True. We dream. But we're too afraid to open our door and step out on our own porch. Because we feel like we're not worthy. Oh, it ain't going to happen. My credit score ain't right. I ain't got no money. But that's that. I'm going to my own real uh -huh. For what? For what? Where is your faith? Do you not want it? Do you not want better for yourself? Do you not want to be in a better situation? Yes, sir. God did not put us here to suffer. That's Contrary man. to popular belief, we are not here to suffer. Mm -hmm. Whatever your situation is, whether it's relationship, whether it's spouse, whatever it is, you're not intended to suffer. If you believe in God, you put God first. Yes. Not that man, not that right. woman. That's right. If you're married to him, and even if you're not married to him, if that's your girlfriend or your boyfriend, you still put God first. That's right. Yes, the Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. What you gonna do? 
You're going to blame God for being in the situation that he told you not to go into in the first place? Amen. That he's removed you from several times. Baby girl, stop going over here. Baby girl, stop going over here. I got something for you. Well, Lord, I want a man that speaks this way. And he's this tall and maybe he's light-skinned with the pretty hair and, and you know, look like Elder Barge or something. <laughs> Whatever your type is, I don't know. <laughs> no, I got somebody for you over here. Ugh, he's, mm, he's, he's fat. He ain't muscular. He don't work out. His breath stinks. <laughs> that may be true. But that man, that man is going to love you. That man is going to love you like you've never been loved before. That man is going to love on your children and, and show you unconditional love. But we reject it because it's not what we think it should be. It's not what we're waiting on. And yet still, after we deny that, Lord, why don't you send me a man, God? You're not, you're not answering my prayers. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart, I sent you mm -hmm. Okay, baby girl, I got you. I got you. What, what you want? You want a husband? Okay. This is what you need to do. Next Thursday, go down to Walmart. Okay. <laughs> I want you to go to Walmart at precisely 2.33 p.m. You're going to be on aisle 17. A gentleman is going to ask you a question about spices. Mm -hmm. That's the one. I'm excited to tell you, friends, oh, the Lord spoke to me, the Lord spoke to me. Oh, yes, I'm, 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 I'm believing God for this husband. Go to Walmart, you where you are. Here comes the janitor. Sweeping the mom. <laughs> Sweeping the mom. Uh -huh. How you doing, ma'am? Um, you know, I cook. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying something new tonight. Mm -hmm. Which is best, this oregano or paprika? Wow. Honey, boom, get out of my face. I don't know. Don't, don't you want to hear that? <laughs> don't you want to hear that? Why are you asking me questions? <laughs> you go, 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 go spill something that they, 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 I'm sorry, mop up something that they spilled on the other aisle. You got to get out of my face. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What is your faith? Do you not believe God? Do you not believe God? Do we seriously not believe God anymore? Have we become so full of ourselves that we're our God? That's true. That's true. God, you're taking too long. I got this. You know what? Don't even worry about it. I got this. I got this. Taking the credit. How'd you get the call? Oh, yeah, man. Nah, you know, I've been saving and and and, 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 and man, I went down there and I told them I got three thousand dollars to put down on this car. And you got a six hundred dollar car note when all you had to do was believe God. Don't even go to that car lot. Come on. You ain't putting nothing down and your payments are gonna be two fifty. Oh, wow. Jesus. My God. Why do we not believe anymore? God has equipped us with everything that we need to combat the enemy. Yes. Amen. Recognize the enemy. The enemy is doubt. Yes. The enemy is fear. My God. Amongst other things. But those seem to be the two most common things that, that, that snatch dreams. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm, 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 I'm in the landscape industry. I'm, I'm a horticulturist. We, right now, we're overseed, aerating overseed, which is plugging turf and broadcasting with, with seed. Mm -hmm. We put down wheat straw afterwards. Yes, sir. This is to deter birds from plugging that seed. It also provides a, uh, a moisture barrier for the seed to germinate. Okay. In here, we're overseeded, saturated in the word. Bishop brings forth a, a wonderful word. And, and, and we get filled with it. And oh yeah, I'm gonna nurture it, I'm gonna love on it, and, and this and that. And as soon as we step out the door, somebody coming down this street right here nearly hits us. And it's four letter word city. Just like that, the words are coming, plus your seed. Just like that. And we let them. And we let them. And then we get mad at the person that corrects us. My God. Just got church. Don't tell me. <laughs> Amongst those like-minded individuals that think like we think. Mm -hmm. 
they speak like we speak. They say those things that we're in agreement with because it feels good, because we're all in agreement. We get suited up, we get pumped up in the word, and oh yeah, I'm ready for battle. I'm so ready for battle. We encourage one another. The, 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 the trumpets blow, and, and the rocky theme music starts going, and, and as soon as we get out of here, the enemy just, and we fall. And we fall. Not only do we fall, we, we again, we just, we, we ball up in a fetal position, sucking our thumb. Sucking our thumb. Sometimes the enemy don't even have to touch you. Just, just the thought of him. Just the thought of him. Oh, uh-uh. Lord, I love you, but uh, you know how it is. We good, right? God knows my heart. He knows you're a coward. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. God wants soldiers. Yeah. Playtime yeah. is over. Yeah, yes. When I was a child, I did childish things. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on, yeah. When I became an adult, mm -hmm. put away. I put away those childish things. Mm -hmm. God wants soldiers. In fact, it's not even a want. It's a necessity. Come on. We are getting beat down by the hundreds of thousands. We're cowards. Yes, yes. We're weak. Yes. We're weak. Where is your faith? Man. Where is your faith? The richest country on earth and the poorest country on earth at the same time. Come on. Spiritually bankrupt. Yes. Stuck on stupid. Mm. Excuse me, children. Stuck. Yes. God bless America. Do you really believe that? Do you really believe that? God is a healer. He really Do you really is. believe that? Yes, sir. Come on. My God is bigger than any situation. Yes, sir. Do you believe that? Yes. Do you receive that? Yes, sir. Do you apply that to your everyday life? Or is it when it's convenient for you? When your spouse is acting a fool, your faith should become even, even bigger. It should swell. Because you need to be strong for both of you. Yes, sir. True. And I'm talking to me, too. By the way, I love you guys. <laughs> Most of you. <laughs> <laughs> God wants to know, where's your faith? Yes, sir. Where's your faith in me? Do you, do you praise me only in the summer months? When it's nice, when you can swim and you can wear, show off your bikinis and, and, and your, your pecs and you know, you've been working out, you want to show your beach body? It's about to get cold. Yes. All right now. You still believe me? I got you. You still believe in me? Oh, it's about to get cold. Yeah. <laughs> you still believe in me? The same God that gave you everything, yes. that blessed you with everything. I got you. Do you worship that same God that will comfort you when you've lost everything? Yes. 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 You, you still recognize that's the same God, right? Yes. Yes. This isn't our, our God isn't bipolar. Yes. Right? No, he's, not. He, he's not bipolar. Mm. He ain't out to get you. He ain't the boogeyman. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Amen. Where's your faith? Come on, that's good work. Mm. Again, I ask, where's your faith? Where's your faith? Where is it? Your pocket, your purse, perhaps. You got a, a nice little stash spot for it. Who is your God? Material possessions? Money? Alcohol? Weed? Who is your God? Who do you really worship? When you first open your eyes in the morning, by the way, if you're here tonight, know that you're blessed. Man. If you don't believe me, go to the morgue in the hospital right now yes. and, and see how many people didn't wake up today. Yes, Amen. yes. Amen. That's right. Who is your God? Who do you, what do you do when you first wake up? 
Are you on Facebook? Do you want to see who approved your friend request overnight? <laughs> Did my phone charge? <laughs> Did your phone charge? Is my car still outside? I mean, you know, that's a rough neighborhood. Who is your guy? You can take it everywhere. You can take your faith everywhere. You can take your faith anywhere. You only pull it out when you want something from God. Wow. Let me tell you something about that. God's not a genie. No, he's not. God doesn't live in a lamp that we rub. Uh -uh. Come on. When, now. when things get hard That's for us. This is what I need. Okay, boom. Make it happen. Who are you talking to? Man. Who do you think you're talking to? God is not, we've apparently gotten it twisted. God is not our servant. God doesn't owe us a thing, nothing, nothing. God does not owe us a thing. If he never does anything else in my life, he's done enough. telling people about the goodness of the Lord. Do you even believe what you're saying? Do you believe it? Or is it is it a program thing? Well, this is what grandmama did and mom told me and dad gave it to me, so I'm going to say it too. Hail Mary. You ain't no Catholic, man. What's wrong with you? Hail Mary? You, you all messed up. Asalaamu Alaikum. You Muslim? Where's your faith? What I've uh, gathered is that man simply does not fear God anymore. Man doesn't fear God anymore. Man does not fear God anymore. Let me say it one more time. Man, despite what he says, does not fear God. That's why you got so much mess. With all due respect, I'll tell this quick story that disgusted me a couple of years ago. My wife and I um, had a show on a, I think it, it must have been a Saturday night, maybe a Friday night, and one of our band members who lives in, former band members, who lives in College Park, we were taking them home. So, so it was Sunday morning, so it was Saturday night. It was raining. Yes. We're driving out Old National Highway. We come to a light, and I won't say the name because I'm, I'm not, I'm not on that. We come to a light, and Tamika tells me, "You know that's so and so's church." And I look, oh, is that where it is? I never knew. Go down. Send my trucks in the front. All of this wealth, all of this money. Did I mention it was raining? Mm -hmm. So we're sitting at the light. This Bentley passes by, makes a left turn and goes north on Old National. And she was like, uh, you know that so-and-so right there. I'm like, oh really? And I look around and I see this mother and her child standing at the bus stop. I'm sorry, it was three of them, somebody else. They were all huddled under this one little bitty umbrella. I look across the street at another bus stop. This brother ain't got, no, he ain't got nothing, he got on the hood. Everybody's waving at so-and-so. Hey, so-and-so, hey, so-and-so. Driving a $500,000 car. And these people are 
standing out here in the rain waiting on Martin. You've got a helicopter. You've got a private jet. I've never been in your church. But from what I understand, well, I'm sorry, your house. What I'm saying, you got a gold toilet. You got it twisted. Man doesn't fear God anymore. Man doesn't fear God. Man is a very selfish and self-serving being. Where is your faith? Give us something to believe in. Don't look for it in a person. Here it is. You can't rely on man. Man didn't birth you. Man's not going to lie in that grave with you. Man is not going to stand with you, <coughs> holding your hand, to take accountability for what you did on your day of judgment. Why are you serving man? Man, in all of his limited wisdom, has somehow managed to create a God in our own likeness. Mm -hmm. That's why we can justify our mess. Wow. 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 We created God. <clears throat> Not Jehovah. We created our own God. He wants me to have this. God told me to buy this jet. And my people are going to pay for it. I'm going to put these ATMs in the lobby, and we're going to ball out. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll do a little outreach. We'll get to that later. No, nah, you, nah, you can't call me. Go, go get them, Pastor. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Mm -mm, you can't get to me. Talk to, here, here's a care pastor. Yeah. I don't want nobody calling me. Is that understood? Don't have anybody call me directly. I am inaccessible. If they want me, come up here on Sunday. Man doesn't fear God. <laughs> Twisting and mincing his words to serve our own personal agenda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I was so arrogant, where am I? Deuteronomy 31 and 14. I'll start a church based on Deuteronomy 31 and 14. If I was so arrogant, if I weren't worried about knocking the bottom out of hell, I would start my own congregation based on a single verse. We behave contrary to what God's written word says. The God of yesterday is the same God of today. If it was wrong then, it's wrong now. That's right. That's right. And I'm going to say it because I ain't scared of nobody. Matter of fact, I'm going to stand out here because I see the spirits looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Gay churches? Really? <laughs> Priests molesting little boys? Really? talking about everybody. I'm talking as a whole. Oh, we are. Yes. 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 Brothers and sisters, in closing, I invite <coughs> each and every one of you to seriously so strip down, look in your mirror, look yourself in your eye. Eyes. Most of us have two. Look at yourself. Be real with yourself. Be real with yourself. And ask yourself, where is my faith? That's my time. Thank you.